Yo, Flyknit Camo, Primeknit, Platinum Premium. I know it sounds weird, but it will all make sense in just a bit. Lots of good stuff dropping this week. I'm Jacques Slade, and this is the Heat Check. Nike is going hard when it comes to flight, and they have been using the material to really help revitalize their classic catalog of sneakers. Starting today, you can get a taste of that with the Air Max 1. Officially called the Nike Air Max 1 Ultra Flyknit, the model is coming in a ton of different colors for both men and women. One of my favorite colorways is actually this pair, which is for women only. And when it comes to the men, this black and white colorway is pretty dope as well. You can look for these right now over at Finish Line for $160. Now, if you would rather keep it more casual than athletic, Puma and Rihanna are linking up once again for the Fenty. For this model, the Upper Rock's a camo print that is based in brown or tan. Uh, these don't usually sit on shelves very long and you can grab a pair right now for $140. The women are killing it this week when it comes to sneakers and Nike is showing them a ton of love. The Air Max 1 Nelso drops in a couple of colorways and they work perfectly with that whole athleisure look that you see a lot of women rocking these days. Those will cost you $120 when they drop tomorrow. Same goes for the Nike Juvenate. These almost feel like a woman's version of the Roshi Run with a slightly, I'll say sleeker, smoother profile. Ladies can grab a few colors of these for $95. Switching back to Puma, Finish Line has two looks at the Puma Fierce Gold for this weekend. Whether you like that white and gold look or that black and gold looks these are a hot commodity i've actually seen a couple of girls rocking these in la and they look pretty dope you can grab these on friday for 100 dollars as for the guys i did not forget about you adidas has the tubular doom lined up with that prime knit upper two colorways are dropping on the 29th one is clear granite and the other is night marine both pairs rock that cage and that sock like ankle collar those will cost you 160 dollars Staying with Friday, Nike Sportswear is dropping the Air Max 90 Ultra SE. These are kind of like a VAC Tech pairs, but instead they use a soft foam for the upper materials. You can look for those to drop on Friday for $140. Switching to Saturday, Adidas Basketball drops the D-Liller 2 in the new white and multicolor upper. Very clean if you ask me. Those will cost you $120. If you rather rock some J's, a quilted version of the Jordan 1 KO drops on Saturday as well. Officially, these are called Pure Platinum, and you can grab a pair for $140. Under Armour is also getting in the mix with the finals colorway of the Curry 2.5. Reviews on these have been good for the most part, and this colorway is one of the most unique that I've seen so far. You can pick those up for $135. And if you want to wait till Monday, Adidas Basketball has more for you. The Crazy Explosive. I'm actually pretty excited to play in a pair of these. It will cost you $150 over at Finish Line. Now, the women are definitely holding it down this week, but the men have some heat that's dropping as well. So be sure to check below for more info on any of the kicks that I talked about today. Feel free to hit that like button and hit that thumbs up because it definitely helps us out. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last thoughts, as you can see, the outsole is still white and this is just red. So my thought is that they just painted this red. 